The next leg of my journey takes me into the majestic Pyrenees Mountains. My first stop is the medieval town of Baga. century but most of the buildings we see today actually date from the 13th, 14th, 15th and 16th century and there have also been a lot of modern houses as well built in the old medieval style. The town was actually redesigned in the 13th century and is a rare example of medieval planning. Now, although it hasn't been confirmed by scholars, some medieval documents suggest that the founder of the Knights Templar Order actually originated from Baga. And this is actually the first place that Charlemagne reintroduced Christianity after the Moors were kicked out of Spain. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mike? <laughs> also with the soldiers and bunny, and it was helping also to defend the area. So Galser and the Pinos was the barony. They were here living in the palace, in the highest point here, beside the Aragon Kingdom, Castel Kingdom. Do you want to, do you want to remain on top of the hill, but the structures here... Right behind me here, you can see part of the original defense tower that was used to protect the city during medieval times. And they were also, uh, in that moment, getting uh, made in the time in order to uh, protect the city also. The streets, they are quite steep, so this is here where it was. Little square here, it was developed back in time, the markets. So it was also a very important square in the, in the past. Nowadays... Behind me is the church of Saint Esteva de Baga. It was built between the 14th and 15th centuries. Yeah, yeah, overnight. Oh, 
I bid adios to Catalonia as I cross the French border and make my way to the charming town of Oxlater, traveling through the historic villages of the Occitana region. So now we are in Puigcerdà, the last town before we go to France. In an area that it's been always historically an area that it was spoken a language called Occitan language. So now it's called Occitanian area because of the language and because it's in historical. This town is called Porta because Porta means in Catalan door. So it was the door to the mountain. found here which were used during Roman times to cure everything from rheumatism and skin diseases and crusader soldiers who contracted leprosy actually came here to therapeutic water This building behind us, the St. Vincent Church, was rebuilt in the 17th century in the Catalan Languedoc style. When the town was destroyed in the fire in the 13th century, the original church miraculously remained intact. Wait. 
We are here for you. Hi, you sir. Uh, ready. We are ready and wait for you. He's the one from the restaurant. I'm there. See you. See you. Au revoir. Au revoir. A tout à l'heure. A bientôt. Déjà, l'origine, c'est pas ma place, ça. Non, je suis devant moi. Comme le collègue est pas là. Il est trop pas mal. I want to show you that. Yeah. But I need more volunteers. I mean, not the only one, eh? And walk. What? Walk. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> so next! <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Who is next? This building behind me is the first extended home. It was built in 1607. We were fortunate enough to arrive in town during one of the market days so we get to experience a bit of the French culture. If you want, you have a nature and a strong choice. You have a choice. Oh, strong! I don't want. This is very strong. This, yes, and this. Dryen. Okay. Just cheese <laughs> or <laughs> there were very good places to eat that were open so on the rice and traditional French food bar you can now find this kebab it's a Greek style that has a French twist to it with mm. actually really good. Bread's a little hard but the meat's really good and it only costs six euros. I step on a piece of shit. <laughs> That's good luck. <laughs> oh yeah, I, 
I like this town with you. You often hear really bad opinions about how rude the French are, but the people here are actually pretty nice. They'll stop to let you cross the street and in the business is too many. Um, I've noticed that if you try to speak a little bit of French, they'll try to speak a little bit of English too, even though they don't know it. So. <laughs> Oh, 